Hi, welcome back. Uh, today our question is same we did before, like find the force reaction and uh, how these forces acting on this beam. So we will find the support reaction of this beam. This beam is a uh, little different uh, as we did before, but uh, the problem and the solution is same. Okay, so our problem is to find the support of this. So here is the ruler support you know this symbols you know this one is a ruler and this one is fin okay so the ruler have one unknown okay so let's draw the fibro diagram uh here it is and they're changing the direction uh here is fin okay i'm in little hurry because i don't want to uh loss our times okay so this one is uh pin support so these two unknown and this one is ruler so it's one unknown so let's name it ay okay and here is give him name is by like oh, and this one is bx okay this force is uriel and is same as here the magnitude of these force is same but the direction will be changed okay so we will uh, transfer this UDL to foreign load. This foreign load from uh, the UDL is very easy because of this one is rectangle. So just uh, 36.5 multiplied by 6, so this will be point load, and here will be at the midpoint. So it's 219 kilonewton, and the distance will be distance divided by 2, so this will be 3. Okay, so this one we solve it. This one will be acting as same at the midpoint so the midpoint will be 4.6 divided by 2 so from here to here this will be 2.3 but the distance is different because of this one is uh, like angle here so this one is in like perpendicular so if we did like this one is hit that like this okay this one is base this is perpendicular and this one is hypotenuse so we have to be find this distance this distance then we will be find the point load so if this one is 4.6 and this one is 3 so we can find here is by Pythagoras theorem so it's 3 square plus 4.5 square and all under root so it's 5.5 so now we can find the point load of this one so 5.5 multiplied by the magnitude 36.5 so it's 200.75 so we can find easily if the member is inclined <coughs> how much uh, this force acting on this uh, like uh, hypotenuse line so it have to be 5.5 divided by 2 okay it's easy but we don't wanna to write here because it's not necessary okay now find the supports supports we know by equilibrium equation f of x if this go to the right so we will write the positive if there is any one force go to the left side this will be negative okay so here is vx is going positive to the right so it will be positive okay if this one force is uh, let's draw here this force is acting like this so his x component is going to the left and his y component is going to down because of we have to be draw this force at the mid so i hope you understand here and this force have to be two components and also this inclined so this will be angle but we don't want to uh, confuse here by angle this uh, distance is given we can use these distance okay so here is 200.75 mcm here is 200.75 but this angle will be change which is for the x axis will be 3 divided by hypotenuse and for the y axis 
is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. This means 3 divided by 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 and 4 divided by 6 divided by 5, 5, 5. So this one will be 109. Okay, I am writing here 109 and this one will be uh, 167.5. Point, uh, something. I already solved this one. Uh, okay, 167. So this bx is going to the right, so that's why it's positive. The this one is going negative because I was going to the left, so it's negative 109 equal to 0. So bx will be 109 kilo newton. We find the one reaction now. It's time for f of y. We have to be find the another one. Okay, which one is going off? This will be positive. So a y is going off. We know here. By is also positive. We know here it's going off. The 219 is going downward. We know here. And this one is also negative because I already saw it here. So it's also uh, the y axis is here 167 equal to 0. There is no any other force. So we can solve this one a y plus b y the other will be go to the outside so it has to be 3 6 3 8 6 kilo newton now we have to be find the one then we can minus here and we will find the another one okay let's take the moment it here or here it doesn't make any difference <clears throat> just apply moment here at b point okay so i apply moment here now this one will be acting this one will be acting and this uh inclined force also will be acting the inclined force two components these two will be also be acting so m moment at b my this reaction is positive you can take any direction it doesn't make any difference okay so uh, let's start from the incline so incline i have 109 the x-axis the x-axis distance is like x axis is here okay so the y distance so 4.6 divided by 2 so it's 2.3 okay this one is positive the uh, the y axis the y axis is here so it's also be positive so the y axis is 167 multiply by if this x y axis is lying here so it's 3 divided by 2, so it's 12.5. Okay, uh, incline one is solved now. It's time for the this 219 force, so it's also acting this direction. So, uh, 219 multiplied by distance, so it's uh, 3 plus 3, so 6 okay so it's six and what about uh, ay ay is going to the different side so this will be total distance is nine equal to zero okay so here is these two and also this one these three forces and one is unknown so you can solve it by easily so now solve these three forces so these all are uh, one at one six okay this one is 250 plus this one is 251 plus this one is 1314 and equal to ay multiply by 9 so it's all about one at one six equal to a y the 9 will be divided so a y we can find here is 180 uh, sorry 201 201 kilo newton okay this 201 just put here so you can find the b y here is 185 kilo newton so this is our support reaction these three 
one is ruder the two is <coughs> pin support reactions okay 